Hi, welcome back to section six, lesson one. And in previous lesson, we have seen service oriented architecture. So let's jump on and let's look at the next concept, which is service versus process. Before we start understanding service versus process, let's log on to the server and let's see how we can access the services and the process. So let me quickly jump onto remote desktop. Okay. And while I'm on desktop, I'm on Windows 2008. And we can open the task manager. That's where we can see the process. You can see the process tab here. And let me also open the services console. You can either type services.msc and run command, or you can click on the services tab. Then you can click on the services button. They're the same thing. We can see the processes here, and we can also see all the services running here, right? So basically both processes and services are treated the same way by your physical processor, but not by your operating system. Process is an instance of a particular executable, like like your desktop or take web browser or take an instant messenger. So let me open browser session. As I've opened Chrome browser, as you can see, there are four processes running related to Chrome. And if I open ClickView Desktop, okay. So for ClickView, it's only one. Yep, there we go. We can see the QVEXC. So this process is related to this instance. So if I open one more instance of ClickView Desktop, there will be one more process related to click here right get that right however the service is slightly different because service doesn't abide by the same rules it generally runs outside of your direct interaction think about like antivirus or your system clock and a service is a true blooded windows process no difference there right the only thing that's special about a service is that it is started by the operating system and runs in a separate session. An isolated one that keeps it from interfering from the desktop session. So it doesn't interfere with your active desktop session. So whether you've logged in or you've not logged in, as long as the machine is on, the services are running in the background. So when you think about a process, think about Chrome or think about any desktop application you're running on your machine. When you wanted to think about a service, in generic terms, you can think about like antivirus or a system clock, they will be running in the background. I hope that makes sense. That gave you some idea about the difference between process and the service. So let's jump back onto the presentation and let's continue and look at the next concept. So the next one is single node versus clustered installation. So single node installation contains a single server. This is the simplest form of installation as it requires ClickView server software installed on Windows Server. This can be a physical machine or it can be a virtual machine, it doesn't matter. And all services, remember the difference between process and service? So all the services related to ClickView will run on single node if it's a single node installation. And the flip side of single node installation is added risk associated with one server being a single point of failure. Since server handles user management and also it handles communication between access point and clients, failure will lead to all users losing access to all the ClickView application. However, if it's a clustered installation, by definition, a cluster is a group of linked servers or nodes working together closely so that in many respects they form a single unit of server the components of a cluster are commonly but not always connected to each other through fast local area networks clusters are usually deployed to improve performance and for high availability reasons and clickview server cluster includes multiple servers sharing load based on RAM and CPU. 
So when we install ClickView Server, you have two options. You can either have a single node installation or a clustered installation. If you just wanted to have one server, then single node, obviously. If you need to set up a cluster, then you have an option to install services on different nodes. So let's understand some load balancing options which ClickView offers. The first one being random. Random option is something like a round robin type strategy. So the sessions are distributed across all the nodes in the cluster, right? Fairly simple. And then the next one is the loaded document. one. So when a user sessions for the same document are to be routed to the same server, this strategy is designed for deployments. Access point makes the decision based on if the document is already loaded and the amount of RAM is available on the server. And finally, third option is CPU with RAM overload. So this allows ClickView Web Server, QVWS, to route traffic based on two factors, first one being RAM and the second one being CPU. So let's go ahead and look at QMC. Let me log on to the server. Okay, we're back on the server. Okay, and then let's go to Systems tab. And you will see a list on the left hand side. So there are different services. And as we have seen, load balancing is handled by ClickView Web Server. So let's go ahead and select ClickView Web Server. And then let's click on Access Point. And under Access Point, let's click on Server Connections. So if I click on the drop down, it should show me three options. There we go. So I hope that gave you some idea about clustered versus non-clustered or clustered versus single node installation. Thank you for watching.